Hi Booktube, it's Nikki here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to ask again for your help, please, you the subscribers, to help me to choose a book for February. Now I've started this series um, last month. This is where I look back on the books that I hauled in February 2020 and 2021 and choose five um, that I have not yet read. And I would like you please to vote in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, which one do you think that I should read in February? Thank you for all of you who voted last month in January. Um, the end result was The Postscript Murders by Ellie Griffiths. And I really loved that book. And that was a great introduction to Ellie Griffiths' work. So thank you. That was off to a great start. Um, yeah, so I've got sort of five quite different books here. So please, um, I would love you to just give your thoughts. Even if you just put the um, name of the book um, underneath, that would be wonderful. Um, especially, as I say, those of you who don't have a channel, it'd be lovely to know that you're there. So the first one is The Whisper Man by Alex North. Now, I think this is a dark, suspenseful thriller. This is about a guy called Tom, who's wife has died quite suddenly and he wants a fresh start and he takes his son Jake to a new house in a new town called Featherbank. Um, but this Featherbank town has a rather dark past because um, 20 years before a serial killer rampaged through this town and killed five of the residents. The um, Because of the way that he went about it, he was named the Whisper Man. Um, and then he was supposedly caught. Well, now fast forward 20 years on. So Tom and Jake settle in this new town, but not very long afterwards, um, a young boy disappears. And this crime resembles very much the nature of the crimes of the Whisper Man. So it appears that this killer is preying on this small town once more, perhaps. Now, number two is a contemporary novel, and it's this one, Ponty by Charlene Teo. Now, this is set here in Singapore. This begins in 2003, and we, um, we're getting here the perspective of three different women. We're getting Zhu, who in 2003 is a 16 year old girl whose father is not there, and she's growing up with her mother, um, who is called Amisa, I think. Now, she was once quite a talented actress, but is now um, just running some dodgy seances, apparently. Um, Zhu starts a really intense friendship with a girl called um, Circe. Um, and this friendship goes from there. We then fast forward 17 years to 2020, where Circe apparently is very lonely. She's in a struggling relationship and I think she might be even going through divorce. And then at her work, there is a project, a film project, um, that she wants to get all involved in. And it refers back to a film that Zoo's mother, Amisa, was involved in years ago. So that sounds quite complex. Apparently this is meant to be um, a very atmospheric novel um, with themes of friendship and memory. Um, Sunday Times says a triumph, Ian McEwan says um, remarkable. And look at that cover. Now the third one is called The First Woman by Jennifer Nansubuga Makumbi. And this is um, historical fiction and is set in Uganda in Africa. This is the story of Kirabu, who is the equivalent of Eve in um, the Adam and Eve story. All right, so in Ugandan mythology. And we follow Karabu, who is smart and she's quite headstrong and quite flawed. And she's raised by her grandparents who are really, really dote on her. And this is also takes place in like this idyllic rural countryside. But from what I can gather, Karabu begins to get um, a little unsettled and she's yearning for the presence of her mother. Um, this is when she's a teenager and she wants to know where her mother is, I think, and discovers like what is meant to be a woman and what those implications are. So she's looking back to her history, but then what the implications are for her future going forward. So um, yeah, so that one sounds really intriguing and obviously um, set in Africa as well. 
So number four is The Confession by Jesse Burton. Now this is a well half contemporary, half modern historical fiction book. It begins in 1980 in London with um, a woman called Elise and she meets um, another woman called Constance um, who's called Connie throughout and Connie is really bold and alluring and really draws um, Elise into this friendship. Consequently, Elise follows Connie to um, LA in the States and this whole glamorous um, world, film world, I think it is. And um, however, while Connie is like thriving and loving this life, Elise is floundering. And one night she decides to make a very impulsive, life-changing decision. So we then fast forward three decades. So we get to the contemporary um, storyline where we follow Rose Simmons, who I think is Elisa's daughter. And she wants to know why did her mother disappear when Rose was only a baby? So I think Rose is determined to find out whether um, Connie holds the key to this disappearance um, of Elise. Um, it's supposed to be very moving, full of secrets, uh, the theme of motherhood and friendship. And number five is My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. Um, I've not read any Samantha Downing at all and this was her debut novel. This is about a couple who um, meet, fall in love, um, make a home together, have children, um, it seems quite stereotypical, tell each other their dreams and their secrets, but then they are murderers. And I think it's all about this couple seemingly to be very normal and everyday and you wouldn't suspect a thing, and yet the dark secrets which they are hiding. It's um, told from the husband's perspective, hence my lovely wife, and yeah, it's supposed to be um, rather dark. So this is the top, how well do you really know the one you love the most? And Harlan Coburn is quoted on here, wow, riveting and full of twists. So yeah, as I say, never read any of her work. There we go. Found it really hard actually not to make a comment of opinion on any of the five. <laughs> so not to sway any decisions. So to be honest, I would like to read them all. So, um, so there we go. Please do vote down below and um, I will tell you the result um, in about a week's time when we have my February TBR video come out. Thank you very much for watching. Please take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye.